additional remains of U.S. Soldier Sergeant Law David Johnson were found on November 12 at the site in Niger where his body was recovered, a U.S. official confirmed to ABC News. Johnson and three other U.S. Army soldiers, Staff Sergeant Brian C. Black, Staff Sergeant Jeremiah W. Johnson and Staff Sergeant Dustin M. Wright, were killed when their patrol of 12 U.S. and 30 Nigerian forces was ambushed by an ISIS-affiliated group when leaving the village of Tongo Tongo on October. For we can confirm that the Armed Forces Medical Examiner has positively identified these remains as those of Sergeant Johnson, Dana W. White, Chief Spokesperson for the Department of Defense, said in a statement today. The department continues to conduct a detailed and thorough investigation into the deaths of Staff Sergeant Brian C. Black, Staff Sergeant Jeremiah W. Johnson, Staff Sergeant Dustin M. Wright, and Sergeant Law David T. Johnson We extend our deepest condolences to all of the families of the fallen. The U.S. official said Johnson's family has been notified of the new discovery. Last month, Johnson's widow told ABC News she was prevented from viewing her husband's remains before he was laid to rest in his home state of Florida on October. 21 Why couldn't I see my husband? Every time I asked to see my husband, they wouldn't let me, Maya Shia Johnson said in an October. 23 Interview with Good Morning America They told me that he's in a severe rap, like I won't be able to see him. I need to see him so I will know that that is my husband. She added, they won't show me a finger, a hand. I know my husband's body from head to toe, and they won't let me see anything. I don't know what's in that box. It could be empty for all I know, but I need to see my husband. I haven't seen him since he came home. A joint team of U.S. Africa Command and Niger military investigators visited the site of the ambush on November 12 as part of the investigation, which the U.S. Army expects to conclude in January. As part of its mission, the AFRICOM investigation team interviewed local villagers, conducted a physical examination of multiple areas of interest related to the attack, and retraced actions leading up to, during, and after this ambush, U.S. Africa Command said in a press release. According to the U.S. official, the body of Johnson was not located until two days after the attack. In circumstances that remain unclear, he became separated from the rest of the group and his body was later turned over by the village to the Nigerian military.